Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Israel has indeed become extremely desperate. Look, it's one thing to tweet about things, then it's another thing to edit fake explosions and run a YouTube ad on all the Muslim channels. But now the desperation for Israel has gotten to its peak. Israel wanted a new revolutionary way to save face and to show the world how false everyone else is and how true they really are. So they decided to run a newspaper ad in the New York Times to show exactly that. Time out, you mean like a physical newspaper ad? Yeah, a physical newspaper ad. Like those old things that are in black and white? Yes, those old things in black and white. I mean, who the hell even reads those old things, man? That's what I'm saying. My mom uses those to absorb the oil after she fries the samosas. Brothers and sisters, I can't even make this up if I wanted to. The New York Times runs an advertisement using these three faces who have a collective Instagram following alone of over 175 million. Using their Instagram clout to paint them out as some sort of monsters who practically are the PAs of Hamas apparently. Israel's using the clout of these three influencers to somehow prove how it's all fake news. So what do they do? they run a news advertisement in the New York Times. They're making these three influencers look like somehow they're the brains of the entire Hamas operations. Somehow they're the face of the organization with these three terrible photoshopped images. I mean, if you're spending so much money on advertisement, can't you spend a little bit more extra money? on fixing these Photoshop images and making them look a little better? You got Bella Hadid over here looking like she's given the signal with her eyes to launch these rockets. And then you got these bogus quotes somehow making it seem like the Hamas have a manifesto apparently. But what's even more sad is the reputation of the New York Times. I mean, how can a credible media source post an advertisement on their actual newspaper promoting such garbage. I mean, it looks like a tabloid magazine for God's sakes. You've allowed the credibility of your newspaper to drop and guess what? You're showing and exposing the fact of how you can be bought by these Zionists. I know sometimes it seems like the influencers are the only ones who have the voice over here, but that's not true. All of your voices matter as well, so please continue to put pressure on these Israeli cowards by posting on your social media. Know that we are the media outlets and we need to take control of this narrative, so continue to post about this and continue to apply pressure on these Israeli dogs, because that's what they are, son. And until next time... I'm out.